one of the things that all tourists and, and students notice on the Princeton campus is black squirrels. There are a lot of rumors that just plain aren't true about black squirrels. One of the easiest to dispose of is that they are the result of some biological experiment gone wrong or gone right and just uh, were released on campus. The earliest reference to black squirrels is actually in the journal of a Dutch explorer, David de Vries, in 1655, and he simply mentioned as the regular wildlife of New Jersey, squirrels as black as coal. So they're a natural part of the landscape. It's just a, a natural darker form of our eastern gray squirrel. You can find squirrels just about any place on campus, uh, but in fact, uh, right up here around Nassau Hall is one of the better places. It's out in the open, they're very easy to see and uh, quite observable. Uh, I had a field biology course and a general ecology course for a number of years uh, where we went out and we sort of saturation observed the squirrels on campus. The idea was to put students in every little courtyard and then um, students covering the, the few patches of forest on campus. Uh, we ended up with about 20% or so black squirrels. Uh, that percentage would vary from year to year, but uh, somewhere around 20%. The adaptive significance has not really been worked out. Uh, the most ingenious suggestion has been that black squirrels are more obvious running across the road, and so cars are likely to stop and, and miss them on campus. But when you go away from campus, um, the cars are moving so fast that it doesn't make any difference whether it's a black squirrel or a gray squirrel, uh, they both get squished. <laughs>